Dylan Riola is being crystal ball yes. to flip to Nebraska. Is GA better off with a guy who's been to three high schools and two potential college flips before he sets foot on campus? Uh, this is Let's something do it. Too. We got a couple of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead, David. Let's well, see. so, and you were telling me about this. It sounds like Kyle McCord possibly is transferring to Nebraska, and Dylan Rayola may flip his commitment from Georgia uh, from Georgia to Nebraska like uh, he was just talking about in the chat there. But remember, his, his father played at Nebraska. Yeah. And, so we and, thought he might commit there. Yeah, and there's a coach, I believe, uh, the offensive line coach, uh, there, there's a relation there. I'm not sure if it's his father or not. But Nebraska may get Kyle McCord, who is a proven guy, right, that, that can work in Matt Rule's system, and then a young guy in Dylan Rayola who's the number one quarterback. You talk about transferring schools nowadays. I mean, hell, it's hard for me to keep track. So many guys have transferred. Can we sit here and say, oh, well, if you transfer multiple times, you're obviously the problem. Like back when Tate Martell and them were doing this, you could tell there was only a couple of them that were doing it. Maybe these guys are problems. Now everybody's doing it. So it's hard for me to, to cipher who is, who is actually the problem and who is escaping a problem. Like it's, it's muddied the waters to me. But if you're Nebraska, if Matt Rule, and we've said this multiple times, if Matt Rule had an archetype as a coach, it would be a builder. I don't know if he's a maintainer, if he can get them to a high level and keep them there. I don't know. He, wasn't, he hadn't been able to, you know, didn't beat a ranked team, I believe, at Baylor and, and then Temple, whatever. But he did build them up and get them back to relevance or take them to relevance. I think he can do the same at Nebraska just by getting better players in there. Kyle McCord and Rayola are two different players. Not that Kyle's unathletic or that he can't extend the play, but he's not a guy that's going to go run you to, to uh, a lot of first downs. But I tell you what, you get, you get Kyle McCord, you maybe get Fleming to come with him, who, was, who I, I believe is, uh, visited Nebraska yep. as well. He was the number one receiver in his class. Yeah, buddy. Matt Rule is upgrading Nebraska. Matt Rule, the builder, right, at a place, and I know Nebraska's dumping NIL money that they, they probably put in the ground 50 years ago, and they're digging it up now, saving it for a rainy day. Uh, they're always all in out in Lincoln. But, but the sun's got to be, it's got to be shining a little bit brighter this morning. I mean, getting Kyle McCord alone would be a huge win. It would Got through for over 3,000 yards this year, 24 touchdowns, six interceptions. I still don't understand everything that's going on in Columbus right now with just the, you know, the, the, the outgoing, the exodus, basically, of transfers leaving. But that would be a huge win. But to me, there's no way they get both these guys, right? Like, is Dylan Rayola really going to flip his commitment and go there if Kyle McCord transfers there? Uh. Well, what, are, what are the chances? I don't think it's great, right? Because Kyle's young. I mean, Kyle, Kyle's a young guy. Kyle's a he's sophomore. A, he's a junior. Last year. He's, he's going to be a junior this year. He'll be a junior up this year, upcoming year, right? This, his profile right now says junior. Yeah, okay, so he'll be sure. a junior. So he's, he's draft junior. eligible now, this year. Now, who knows? Uh, he could play for 10 more years. Yeah, I know. Well, true. So how many of we got eight years in college at this point? I don't know. But look, man, look, money talks. I don't care what any – look, it's a money business. That's what it is. And if and Nebraska is dumping NIL money to pay Kyle McCord, paying this other kid, that's fine. I'm all for it. I'm still waiting on a team with the most NIL just to buy all the best players. You buy all the best players, and you go put them out on Saturday. Yeah, that's what you do. This is how you win in college football. We can look at that, but it, all, it always comes down to somewhat who do you have at the helm? Who is playing the quarterback position? You're only good as your quarterback, okay? Trust me, I watch all the five stars run around A&M, and then a mediocre quarterback can't get you as far as you need to go. You get all the pieces, but that main piece, that boss piece, that final piece is the quarterback position. Yeah, and listen, Kyle McCord, it's going to be a little bit different when you don't have Marvin Harrison Jr. and Igbuka sure. and Stover, and we'll see. I think it'll tell us a lot more about Kyle McCord, but I can promise you this. It's a hell of an upgrade from what they have. Yeah, no doubt. And also, um, you guys were talking about this earlier. Sounds like Dylan Gabriel has committed to Oregon. Huge, huge. I mean, a lot of people thought he may follow Jeff Levy to Mississippi State, which would make sense. Uh, but but I, I think he fits into what Dan wants to do. My question is, how many years does Dylan Gabriel get to play? Uh, that's a, I mean, that's like, an important part of what we're talking about. Like, how many, like, uh, again, how many do you get to play? Like, can anybody give a straight answer on that? Like, it, th there's like this window. I think it's going to get buttoned up at some point. But I think there's this window where you can legitimately Van Wilder this whole thing. Mm -hmm. You can play for seven years, right? Stetson? I mean, <laughs> I got COVID. Oh, look, you can make up anything at this point. I got COVID. You blew out your Achilles. Your dad <laughs> yelled at you on the way down here. Yeah, you get a cafeteria year. food's not that great. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way Dan Hanning, Lanning's hair looks. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't matter. It's a great Whatever it's a, excuse you need, it'll work. Like, we'll have kids at some point. We'll, are we sure Joe Flacco is still not in college? 
I is mean, Joe Flacco I, running around college somewhere playing? Saw him running around for the Browns. Browns. I saw him with Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. he's doing both. Apparently. He's back on the Who practice knows? squad. They back in Delaware. Yeah, he's at Delaware State out here balling. You love this. A, a great pickup for Oregon. A great pickup for a Oregon. phenomenal like, pickup. Again, yeah. though, we've seen in NBA teams build super teams, and sometimes they're not as good as the teams who draft and develop players. Right. True. And and so if you're looking at this Dylan Rayola situation, okay, are you going to decommit from Georgia? A program that has proven to to build these guys up. Yeah, a lot of transfer. Even the guys who did no come transfer, no JT Daniels looked. got beat out by Stetson look, Bennett. You know the amount of money like you're gonna have to pay someone to look at Georgia and be like, no, no, yeah, yeah I'm going to Nebraska. Yeah, a lot. You want to talk about the the if you're out to get something, you know what I'm out to get? Great quality meat. All right, especially during the holidays. Okay, what do green eggs and Christmas dinner have in common? They both need a ham to be complete. Oh yeah, that's a great joke. Remember that one. And not just any ham, mind you, a spiral cut heritage pork masterpiece from Good Ranchers. It's the kind of ham that'll steal the show at your family gathering. And guess what? You get it free with any Good Rancher subscription. But I get the butcher's box. You can get steaks, chicken, seafood, pork. They got everything, man. And now a free ham to go along with uh, a Good Rancher subscription. That's a $99 value that you get free in your first order. So head over to GoodRanchers.com and subscribe today with our code Booster. That's B-O-O-S-T-E-R to claim your free limited stock holiday ham before they sell out. But you got to act fast because this offer is not going to last forever. All right. Uh, You need to make sure and try and order this thing. I know we're, we're coming up. Uh, we're past the 11th. Today's the 12th, I believe. So you need to go ahead and get that in if you want that delivery by Christmas. So head to GoodRanchers.com. Use our code Booster, B-O-O-S-T-E-R, when you subscribe to get your free 10-pound holiday ham. Don't settle for the same old holiday fare. Elevate your feast with Good Ranchers this year. Good Ranchers, American meat delivered. And it is American. Hey, I just got three things to say here. God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, stop your... Engine. <laughs> Let's go, Let's baby. Bill and Riola coming to Nebraska. Uh-oh. It's happening. Mark mm. down. I don't know what's in the water there, but even money, there, money and gold. Colorado. He's not going to get Dylan Riola. I have not been this excited about Nebraska football. Mm. I I drink the Kool Aid every year. I watch the hype videos. I'm like, yeah, I think we're going to be pretty good i mean i'm not expecting no college football playoff or anything so real look, he's... but look at your quarterback room for next year it, it's full no more sheba purdy or yeah or uh henry harberg y'all don't have Jeff diet Hunter. diet taste oh no, no, no heinrich's not there anymore yeah heinrich good thing no, <laughs> no this is I, I don't know what is in the water in nebraska or what secret potion uh, Matt Rule has been cooking up, but it is working. We're keeping Tony White. I called last time about huge, keeping huge. Tony White on possibly losing him. One point six million. I am happy to pay him that one point yeah. six million, even if it's just for one more year. Just the, I, I'm just flabbergasted. I, I yeah. love Nebraska football so much, and it's so. And Marcus, you should be excited. For such a good <clears throat> you should I, be. I don't want to be that. We're this is our team, Dallas Cow. This is our year, Dallas Cowboys uh, fangirl or anything. My wife tells me the same thing. Are you fangirling over this high school boy? I'm like, in a way, a hundred percent, yes. <laughs> uh, listen, there is there is a, a renewed hope, right? There's always hope at Nebraska, but then you like look right. look at the team and you're like just waiting for something bad to happen. You're getting in players now where you guys may actually be waiting for something good to happen. Like, just expecting good things. That's the best ever. When you go from, oh, my God, how are we going to blow it? To like, like watching the Cam Newton year. Has, has Dylan committed yet? No, he's uh, he's about to be. Look, either one of these would be. Either one would be huge. But if you get Kyle McCord and Dylan Rayola, like, yeah. again, what are the chances? Well, well, too, and remember this, Marcus. Great players want to play with who? Great players. So great by players. getting Kyle McCord, you probably get Fleming, I think, mm-hmm. from, from Ohio mm-hmm. State. You'll get other transfer portal guys that want to go play. And then getting Dylan Raiola, what high school wide receiver does not want to go play with Dylan Raiola right now? So it's a it's a full team, you know, I, obviously it's big for the whole team. But again, when it comes down to Matt Rule, I'm not worried about whether Matt Rule can build them. He's a builder. That's his archetype, right? right. It's when he gets y'all there, can he maintain it? It's like Will Ferrell in the campaign when he gets bit by that snake. 
right? Like, Am I maintaining? I don't know what the NIL numbers are. Like it's a lot. It's got to be. A but lot. if you're Dylan Rayola, wouldn't going- you been more likely to flip your commitment before Kyle McCord transferred there? I don't know. It just I like, got. Why, why would you? Why would you? Why would you flip wait? Your yeah. Why would you wait, like after when Kyle McCord's gonna look? I can't wait for Kyle to get there. Y'all probably win eight games, which is a win. Congrats. That'd be great for Nebraska win eight games. How Marcus? How happy would you be with eight wins next year? <laughs> what was y'all's record this year? Five and seven. Five and seven. Five and yeah. seven. Yeah. Right, and you get Fleming. Look, they you can buy yourself to a bowl game. Like this is how it works. That's how it works. I don't think. I don't know, man. What did Georgia do? They must have not upheld something. Well, I listen, I'm that. not I'm not crying for Georgia. They're going to be just fine. Yeah, I'll never cry for Georgia. Yeah, they're, they're going to be just fine. And, uh, kind of, he had information on the flight that Dylan Riola had to Nebraska. He's joking, of course, I'm, I'm sure. But he's like, us as Georgia fans, can we like fly the plane and say, oh, hey, I'm sorry, we, we can't go to Nebraska because of yeah. the technical difficulty and delay his uh, – his meeting, his visit with Nebraska. Hey, YouTube, it's Jackie from the Lady Ballers, joined by Blair and also DeVita, a.k.a. the Human Tower. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. If you didn't know we had a sports show, well, welcome to the greatest sports show in the history of the planet Earth and other planets surrounding it. So make sure you turn that notification bell on, hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Remember, if you haven't seen Lady Ballers yet, you're one of like six people. So go to Daily Wire Plus and check that out.